migrants in the UK, whose asylum cases have been refused by the Home Office, will be given 21 days to leave the UK according to the official letter, circulated by the authority. Did you know, you can help us bring you the best, up-to-date, and most reliable information on United Kingdom visas and immigration, by supporting us on Patreon.com with just £1 a month, link mentioned below. For breaking United Kingdom visas and immigration news and updates, subscribe to our channel now, and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as our videos get published. Changing the rules on immigration. A new immigration bill. Points based immigration system. Brightest and the best. Greatest place to live. Thousands of asylum seekers to be deported by the Home Office. The UK Home Office has confirmed that thousands of asylum seekers presently living in hotels will be facing deportation from the UK. A letter from the UK Home Office confirms that deportation of refused asylum seekers will occur with immediate effect, and charities have already stated an upsurge in migrants being kept in immigration detention centres. Asylum seekers whose immigration cases have been rejected and who do not have an unresolved appeal will start getting letters to leave the UK within 21 days from this week starting 21st of September 2020. Furthermore, these migrants usually have no recourse to public funds. Some refused asylum seekers were put in hotels, financed by the UK Home Office. Other asylum seekers are having their temporary hotel lodging, paid for by local authorities. It is not recognized if the second group will be aimed for deportation. On 15 September, the Director General of UK Visas and Immigration mentioned in the letter to charities that asylum seekers with negative decisions would be given deportation notices with immediate effect in England. Discussion will take place with officers in the delegated supervision before deportation. Earlier in June 2020, the Public Interest Law Center uttered worries about the likely outcome of asylum seekers with no recourse to public funds post lockdown. A representative from Public Interest Law Center mentioned a human being's right to protection, care and lodging should never depend on where they were born or what documents they possess. A spokesperson from the UK Home Office stated, the phase termination of backing has now started in order to decrease the claims on the asylum system. We have been well defined from the beginning that this was a short-term measure which would be brought to conclusion as soon as it was secure to do so. Those migrants who have got a negative asylum decision, which says they have no right to remain in the UK, are provided a 21-day grace period. During this time period they are anticipated to make steps to go back to their home country while still living in accommodation and getting support. Assistance is available for those migrant asylum seekers who leave voluntarily, but for those who do not, enforcement action may come into effect to enable deportation. This is the end of today's video update. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions regarding your immigration status, contact us now by commenting below.